Hello everybody. It's yet another weekday, and we're avoiding the Monday syndrome with the memories of a brand new Heartland episode from last night. For anyone out there who needs to clear their minds and be distracted from the struggles of everyday life, there is nothing better than a fresh Heartland episode. The series' overall impact on us for the past 15 years is impeccable. And yet, still, even after all these years, each new episode manages to deliver new excitements and keep us, the fans, on the hook. The newest Heartland episode was no different in that nature. With the title Runaway, it once again served everything we love about the show in about four to five minutes. The episode's biggest issue was the running away of the wild horse stallion. The incident not only gave its name to the episode, but also caused almost all Heartland characters to unite in search of him. But first, let's remember how he managed to escape in the first place. The episode started with a scene where a robbery takes place in Sam's ranch. The criminals leave the fence open, giving Stallion the chance to leave. Since he is a wild horse who doesn't like to be tamed, Stallion doesn't miss the chance and runs at full gallop. The next day, Sam informs Amy of the incident, and the two start to look for him. They hear that Stallion is saved from a major crash by chance, and he is still somewhere out there. Then, Tim also joins the two in search of the beautiful black horse. They come across a rancher and ask him if he saw the horse. The rancher, who just captured Stallion and decided to sell him, told Amy and the others his intentions. He expressed that since Stallion doesn't belong to anyone officially, he can sell the horse to anyone he desires. He also told that they already missed the chance to find Stallion since the truck that carries the horses is on its way. Then, our search team found out that the truck is on its way to the airport and they plan to sell the horses overseas where they will turn into meat. They go after the truck, force it to stop, and have a long conversation with the driver to convince him to release Stallion. The driver recognizes Sam from his baseball days and turns out to be a huge fan who is dying for a selfie. Tim tells him that he can get his selfie if he releases Stallion. When Amy looks back at the truck, she cannot see Stallion. Turns out, Stallion got angry in the truck and the driver had to let him go already. Once again, Amy starts to look for the horse hopelessly, and she hangs flyers everywhere with the picture of the stallion. Finally, a rancher calls her and lets her know that he found stallion. Stallion returns to his home at Sam's ranch, as Amy and others manage to take a deep breath. While all of these were going on, there was also a major babysitting crisis, as Amy was always busy while the other ladies of the ranch were not exactly available as well. Getting used to having Lisa around, Lou assumed that she would be free to take care of Katie, Lindy, and Parker. And yet, at the time, Lisa was highly occupied with a sick horse she just bought. Naturally, Lisa got offended by Lou's assumptions of her being free at all times and let her know that she is not a babysitter. When Jack heard about what had happened, he came to Lou and Amy and made a serious speech on how they were unfair to Lisa. He said that despite the fact that Lisa always tries to take care of them, they never even ask her whether she is okay or not. This speech worked like magic on Lou and Amy as they realize they have been so busy with their work, they often neglect Lisa and the fact that she has a life and occupation of her own. Then, they went to Lisa to apologize, which she highly welcomed. In the meantime, the return from his vacation to reality gradually started to hit Tim. When he went back to his training school, he found out that Caleb has been highly successful in managing it in his own way. In fact, he was even arguably more successful than Tim. And yet, there were two issues. First, Caleb was much softer towards the boys than Tim, which was welcomed by the kids, but had a negative impact on the training process. And second, he changed all the documentation system of the course and insisted on keeping it that way. To Tim's surprise, Caleb was so proud of the work he has done in the place, he refused to bow down to Tim in any way, shape, or form and challenged him to acknowledge his achievements. Eventually, his solid standing paid off as Tim came to terms with him. After letting Caleb know that he appreciates his hard work highly, Tim basically said that the place needs a good cop and a bad cop for a great training course, and the two are a great team in that sense. Tim's new bride, Jessica, was also struggling with the adaptation problems upon their return. She decided to turn photography into a career rather than a mere hobby. However, her first few attempts to be accepted at a gallery failed. Then, she went to Lou and asked her if she can present her photos at Maggie's. Despite resisting at first, Lou then accepted the idea. Somehow, Jessica's entrepreneurship has become highly successful in a short time, leaving Lou's and others' work overlooked in the place. At that point, 
Lou started to become a little bit jealous of Jessica's unexpected success. Still, when she wanted to grow her business by launching a booth in front of Maggie's, she accepted it. And yet, the authorities interrupted Jessica's successful journey since she didn't ask for a permit to sell on the street. Then, Lou offered her to open a booth in her new ranch, thinking that there will be no one to buy her products in there. Nevertheless, Jessica has managed to flourish once again with her creative business mind as she organized a small fair in the dude ranch by bringing other artists together in the area as well. In this way, she managed to get the attention of the tourists that were visiting Hudson. What did you think of the runaway? Do you think the episode managed to deliver the expected? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video.